He drinks out of a little hamster bottle attached to my desk. He's about the size of a very small guinea pig. He was born with a cleft palate. The breeder tube fed him for about three weeks. And then, of course, they can't sell the puppy, so they reached out to Snort. Short nose only rescue team. Kicks in any pugs, Boston Terriers, French Bulldogs, and English Bulldogs. I usually take in their sick puppies so that I can provide around the pot care. <laughs> when I first got him, he was three and a half weeks old and he looked like he was a newborn puppy. He was very, very tiny. And he's doubled in size since I've gotten him. So he's tremendously small. He wasn't showing any kind of affection, any kind of personality whatsoever. No wagging of the tail, no excitement. I immediately started tube feeding him, monitoring his weight, making sure he's meeting his caloric intake and his water intake throughout the day. <laughs> this is his happy place. This is literally all he wants to do. He just will sit in someone's arms all day and just snuggle up in my neck is where he sleeps most of the time. And he literally sleeps like a parrot like this every single night in bed. definitely has some neurological characteristics that make me think he does have hydrocephalus. So whenever I see him play, I'm like, oh my god. And he won't play with any toys, just my face and my fingers. Oh, thank you. <laughs> he goes outside and he just nuzzles his whole face into the grass. He loves it. Every obstacle that we have faced, he has overcome. He, he's been a complete trooper. We had him in rescue within nine hours of his life. These puppies have to be taken away immediately and tube fed. They're basically a lot of work. What's the matter, babe? She was just tiny and really weak, and they were afraid she was just going to fade. have less than a 50% chance of survival when they're newborn like that. So I have to tube feed him. It's pretty stressful the first couple of weeks. Newborn babies need stimulation and they do really well if there's more than one. So I just put them together from day one and immediately sought each other out, I guess by smell or by warmth and just snuggled always. The rest is history. They're best friends. Look at them. Barnabas is starting to get spunky. He's doing that, you know, jump down and then spring forward thing. He's starting to demand attention. When he wakes up and he's hungry, he'll like howl or bark. He never made a sound before. Who knows if this one's gonna make it tonight. Her dog was out going to the bathroom and she had found puppies just crying and she saw the mom was just there dead. So she looked underneath them and some of the puppies were latched on still. They were only a couple hours old. Turns out he was nothing more than a backyard breeder and he could no longer profit off these puppies so he just handed them over. And they were the size of kittens. They looked like baby hamsters actually. They were really, really tiny. And I immediately saw Lucky and I was like, this dog's not gonna make it. He was the smallest, the weakest, but I wanted to give them a fighting chance. It was the moment when I first initially got him and I brought him into the house. He was having trouble latching up to the bottle, but he still would take little droplets from the syringe and he had a will to drink. Even though he couldn't, he was trying to. And I thought, okay, well, this might work. It may be a little bit harder, but he, He's still fighting. Once we hit a week old, I was like, okay, this dog has a chance. And then two weeks came and he started to stand up and he took his first walk and he started opening his eyes. Guys, open, always open. I was just like, okay, he's getting there. So I was like, let me just get him to eight weeks old and you know, we'll be good. Each time he turned another week, we faced new challenges. At two weeks old, we found out that he was blind. When he turned four months old, that's when they removed it. 
I had to go to a specialist. He's like, he needs to wear goggles, he needs to wear sunblock. He thinks he's a little big dog. He thinks he's like a pit bull. He pushes your buttons. Even when he's super, super sick, he's still wagging his tail. He's still happy when he had his eye removed. He was still so lovable, so cuddly, and he just wanted to be happy. And I just love that about him.